Well, hello, folks. Welcome to another episode of the uh, Camp Cossacks prepping series. Which this is kind of the first one. One of the areas that I'm near and dear to my heart is coffee. So we like going to Sam's Club or uh, Costco or whoever and just buy the 8 o'clock coffee. It's like 30 to 42 ounces, I think it is. Yeah, 42 ounce bag for what? 14 bucks, something like that. And I kept thinking, there's got to be something I can do with these bags, because guess what? They're made out of mylar. And what are you buying all the time to stash dry goods and other things in all the time? You're buying mylar, and mylar is kind of expensive. So I said, you know, we don't like doing single use of anything when we're prepping. Anything that you can have dual or multiple uses out of is a good thing. So after we use the coffee, I figured out that you could take these out using one of this, cut these into pieces and you can make small packets and one of those small packets because I don't want to have to carry this around everywhere if I have it in my rucksack it's much easier to pre-measure into small bags and then I can pack some soup. This is a quarter ounce per one cup of boiling water so I can put a quarter ounce of soup in these and I can make bigger bags for different things and uh, have stuff ready to go so I've already done four. One of the things I did find out, this one's got a tear in it. One of the things I did find out is this wrinkle area where this little tie wrappy thing, that doesn't work. you got to get rid of that because it takes forever to get it to seal. So I'm going to grab, let's, see, let's get my towel out of the way. Get my straight edge. Oh, so much for straight edge. Don't need it. And we'll just cut straight across that little tear on the edge is going to be okay. The other thing I want to not use is this little vacuum circle thingy. Can we get it in there? Yeah, right there. It's a one-way valve, I know, but I know it's going to leak. So, uh, we'll just take... Well, let's cut the bottom off here while we're at it. Cut off the bottom. There. Spread it out. Now we have a nice flat, flat piece to use. And I'm going to... Uh, Get rid of that valve. We'll start cutting right about there. And you know what? That'll give me a couple of pieces of a uh, small bag. The other thing that I found out, and it does seal, but right along that seam, it does seal, but you know what? Since it's already a seam, it makes sense to put that on the outside already. Maybe. But I didn't have any trouble getting that side to seal. It just takes about 30 minutes with the iron on both sides of the flap. So uh, let's cut this in half like that. I don't know why that keeps doing it. Works better with scissors. Trash. That goes in the trash. But, uh, just like that. Not the best cut. Scissors is better. We just take this on the side. Let's see if I got it in frame here right on the edge of the, or anything wood, something that's going to be relatively non-heat conducting. I got this set up on the higher uh, setting of synthetics for polyester, number three on this iron. It's just a cheapo Black & Decker. Are we in frame? We're in frame. Like I said, about 30 seconds. I'm going to take it and flip it. Give it a little bit more time on the heat. And this bag is going to be a little bit small, but it'll still take a quarter cup of uh, instant soup mix. There's that. Oop, go on now. Get on there. Give it another 30 seconds or so. Flip it. Give it another 30 seconds just to make sure you got it sealed. And I did do this with water with my very first try. That's how I found out that that wrinkly part up on the top doesn't seal very good. So that's it. Let's do this one. This one's got the seam on it. But it will still seal up. The seam is not the problem. It was that wrinkly part, that crimped part up on the top. Okay, little pieces parts. That's it. 
just about a half an inch on either side just to make sure you got a good seal. You want this to last for a long time. And if you have some oxygen absorbers, by all means, toss a small one in there if you feel like you need to. Now you can do this as small packs, you can do this as bigger bags and do uh, group sized pre-made meals from like Mountain House or uh, yeah, those folks. The names escaped me at the time. Yeah, I didn't do a very straight cut on this one, but I was just trying to do it fast for you. It does not take very long. It seals up pretty quick. 20 or 30 seconds on each side. And you'll have a good seal. Even on this seam here, you'll still have a good seal. Okay, there's that. Now let's get the clean part over here. And I'm going to use one that I just put together. Again, you can put your fingers in here and you can see that it's not going to come apart on you. It's sealed up pretty good. I think this will still hold up, hold a quarter of a cup. But, uh, and of course, your canteen cup is real easy. You put in one cup at a time, you make the marks on the inside. And if you want to, you know, find some way to make a dent or scribe on the inside. You can have one cup. This will hold, you know, a canteen cup holds three cups. Or close to a liter, I guess. So here we go. Quarter cup of some instant soup mix. Let's see if we can get this uh, pouch open to its maximum. This is going to be a challenge. Maybe I need a funnel. I'll use one with a wider mouth. Here we are. Quarter cup going in. Come on, come on. All right. That easily holds a quarter of a cup. Let's get the powder out of the way. And again, you don't want any, don't want, don't want stuff in here that's going to keep you from sealing. Water's the worst. Powder's not going to make it any easier either. And there, just like that. Take our iron, put that in. That's perfect size. Uh, those smaller ones probably are going to be too small. This is the perfect size for a quarter cup of soup. There we are. Hope I'm still in frame. There we go. That looks good. Don't have any don't have any air escaping. We got a good seal as far as I can tell. And like that, just like that, you go from bag of coffee to bag of soup can't be any easier and you've already paid for it so it, this is free whatever the electricity costs for your cheap little iron you can buy a, a used iron at, you can buy a brand new one at Walmart for 15 bucks and it'll do the job if you don't want to use your household iron that you use on your clothes but I've done this with a few bags and as you can see there's really hasn't had any effect on the iron itself but, uh, yeah just a cheap old black and decker Walmart $15 iron. There you go. Coffee bag, soup bag. Quarter cup of soup, that's a single serving, one cup of water, boil it up, dump dump the soup in, and you're done. Sorry about moving around too much and, you know, giving you the, the bends or the twisties, but I'm going to go ahead and finish these other bags and uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Yankee Cossack out. Okay, we're back. Now, for those of you who buy your coffee in the 24 ounce bags or you know the 16 ounce bags even I would cut it down below this little vacuum tube and you can very easily I mean you got a lot of bag here from, from here down to here uh, you can put a lot of food in that uh, you know you can put in a big here we go from here down to there that's a lot of food uh, you can easily pack enough you know a meal for two or three grown men you know folks with big appetites for on the trail 
go visit Linda's Pantry. Linda has a whole series of instant meals in a pouch or jar. You know, you can can the things up in a jar or just vacuum seal them in a mason jar and you're done. Or pack them in a pouch and take them hunting, camping, hiking, and uh, like I said, it, it's easily enough for two two grown men, you know, with big appetites to uh, feed yourselves. But uh, in the meantime, I have cut that other bag down into four more pouches. And again, that, these 42 ounce bags. Now, the 42 ounce bags, after you cut this part off, cut down to the valve, that's a good size meal pouch right there. You cut below the valve, and holy cow, you get enough for, you know, you can pack a meal for four people in this thing, or cut this into two larger bags, and uh, you can put in, you know, pre mixed dehydrated foods, and you can pack a lot of food with this. Well, I'm going to uh, fill up these last four, seal everything up, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Remember, check out Linda's Pantry for meals in a pouch or jar ideas. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff, all kinds of great stuff, and the only limit is your imagination. And if you don't have dehydrated stuff, get a dehydrator and make your own dehydrated stuff. You mash potatoes up, dehydrate it, you have instant mashed potatoes. That's all there is to it. Put in anything you want, and then you'll know what went into your food. We'll be back in a little bit. Well, there we have it. Seven bags. And this is supposed to be an eight-serving pouch. Cheddar potato soup mix. You know what? You can put, uh, you know, you can put, you can put a whole bag of this stuff in individual packets in your pants pocket. You know, they don't weigh nothing. And uh, you can go from this and this to this, and you have food just like that as long as it takes water to boil I think you uh, it wants to it wants to cook for about it says 15 minutes uncovered stirring occasionally but you know what that's just to get the uh, the little potato bits uh, rehydrated and you don't have to wait that long but you know five minutes uh, you know after you come to a boil and all you need is your alcohol stove you can use you, you can use it on a fire or anything but there's instant food and you know what if you're outside in the cold uh, before you go to bed you eat a, a serving of this, of the soup, before you go to bed, and that will give your body all the carbs you need to stay warm all night long in your sleeping bag. Well, anyway, that's it. Um, maybe I'll do some more uh, meals in a pouch, you know, using these other bags at a little later time. I do have some, uh, I do have some pre-made meals from Mountain House in there. Maybe I'll just divide some of those up in a, and uh, set them up too. But anyway, that's it. Uh, I also have some instant eggs, which is, you know, these are perfect. You know, a serving of eggs in one of these little pouches. Add some, add some water and fry and cook them up in your, in your, uh, your uh, bush pot, and you're good to go. You got eggs and whatever else, your bannock or whatever you want, you want to do. Anyway, that's it. I'm not going to ramble anymore. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, again, check with Linda's Pantry. Uh, on YouTube and check check out her meals in a pouch, meals in a jar ideas. Um, again, your 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 only limit is your imagination. That's it for now. We'll be back with another one. Maybe I'll uh, open one of these up and and add them to some boiling water and uh, we'll do the taste test. And before you uh, worry about them tasting like coffee, it won't because it's mylar. It washes out very well. I washed the bags beforehand. All the coffee taste will probably be down here in the bottom in the creases where you can't get it all out, but um, I'm having a whiff. This has been open for a while, and maybe there's a hint of coffee, but again, that's going to be down down here in these little creases. You can always cut that off, clean it out again, and you don't have to worry about your food or your soup tasting like coffee. Although, if your eggs taste a little like coffee, that's not a bad thing in the morning. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop rambling. Hope you enjoyed it. Linda's Pantry for meals in a pouch, and uh, Yankee Cossack out.